All right, just out on another prospecting adventure. Um, we're gonna check out uh, this claim and uh, a couple old shafts and uh, showings. So, hope you all enjoy. All right, here we're about in the center of this uh, property here. I just thought I'd uh, show this. You can see the oxidization here on the schist. There's a little bit of pyrite here, but we're in a what's called a, sh a schist panel, and it's a big wide uh, zone where there's mineralized schist. There's a VMS deposit down there. Um, a lot of old workings on this mountain. So anyway, we'll uh, take a look up here. Uh, there's an old miner's cabin that's kind of not really a cabin anymore. Um, that or it's a, an old core shaft or something like that. It's right in the middle of the, uh, the two main workings on this property. So here's the old uh, broken down cabin. Mining took place around the early 1900s here, so uh, this probably dates back to then. You can see it extends all the way over to here. And then to there, across. Alright, let's go take a, a look at a shaft now. Alright. So, this is the uh, the old shaft. It's currently water filled. Um, every time I uh, come here, it's water filled. You can see the, the bracing in the side still intact. So, this is reportedly about 40 meters deep and uh, they uh, were looking for um, VMS deposits similar to the one it's about a kilometer away they found uh, good grade silver and copper and I think they pulled out a bit of gold um, assays that we've done have have come back with a little bit of gold but uh, there's nothing really in old assessment reports on this mine other than uh, a little bit of work from uh, the early 1900s and uh, from the 40s and 50s so that's the uh, the shaft over here we got the old dump So we've uh, we've sampled this and uh, we've gotten some copper, some good silver, and uh, about a part per million in uh, in gold. So this is basically a solid mineral, schistose rock. Occasionally, you'll find some quartz. Anyway, we're gonna just uh, spend five minutes here and try and find a, another couple samples to send in. Then we'll head over to the, uh, the next shaft. Okay, so here's a few, uh, few samples that we've uh, gathered from here. I'll probably send uh, all of these in. All right, off to the next one. Okay, we're still at the same mine. Um, Looks like they pulled off some stuff off the side too. We're gonna sample that. 
there's the uh, old shaft. So we just did a little digging around here too. This is uh, the high grade pile of waste rock and uh, samples we sent in for um, their, the lower grade stuff. So hopefully uh, something nice comes out of this when we uh, send in these samples. Okay, so we're uh, at the other shaft. I'm at the old dump here. Again, this rock is fairly schistose. I'm in the same schist panel. This mine uh, operated about the same time. It's about 200 meters away from the other one we were just at. And uh, we've sampled this. It's come, come back with uh, really good gold and like amazing copper. Uh, we've had a couple samples, let's say close to 25% copper. Um, but they're fairly hard to find. Uh, the logging company has been in here about five, ten years ago and they uh, pushed all the uh, waste rock that's horrible on top of the uh, the good high grade stuff. So it's quite a bit of digging to to find any samples that's, that have uh, mineralization. So this, this ore, it's uh, got chalcopyrite. Galena, sphalerite, um, pyrite, and uh, again, good gold, really good copper, and uh, some silver as well. I'll post the assay results um, at the end of the video for the samples we did pull out of here, and I'll post a picture of the samples as well. Okay, so it's, uh, it's getting pretty dark out, and... Uh, well, we might as well head up to the mine, take a look at that. It's about 600 feet or 200 meters deep and uh, currently got a lot of water in it. So, won't be able to see much, but we'll uh, go take a look at it and then we'll head down and uh, look at a couple other showings on the way back. Okay, so we're at the mine now. So it's, it's got about 15 feet of overburden on before you uh, can see the side bracing on the, uh, the wall around there. Don't know if there's any cross cuts or anything in here, but uh, I do know that it is about 600 feet or about 200 meters down. So that is the, uh, the other shaft. We'll go take a look at uh, the tailings, the old dump, and see uh, how big it is. And we'll uh, pull some samples off of that and uh, show them at the end of the video. <clears throat> so I'm just on top of the old dump here. So you can see, it goes all the way down there, about uh, 60, 70 feet high. It goes all the way around. I uh, took a pretty good tonnage out of here. Anyway, that's uh, that's that, and we'll uh, leave this dump and head out and look at a couple showings. Okay, so. We're here, uh, this is called the uh, the road showing. It's the name we gave it. You can see you got some quartz with, uh, with sulfides in it. So you can see your iron oxides and then you got a bit of the yellowish, which is the, uh, the sulfides. See the little pockets? Um, that's where your pyrite has kind of washed away and Disintegrated, leaving those pockets of quartz, buggy quartz. So this uh, goes in this direction here. Um, it's in the same direction as the other mines. And you got uh, disseminated 
pry right through it here. You can see another little pocket. So another little pocket there. So we're just gonna pull a few samples off of here um, because we have not sampled this uh, other than the grab sample that we just pulled off. <clears throat> so we're gonna take a, a sample over this entire area. Uh, it's about four meters. We're gonna sample all these little pockets here and uh, see what we can find. Anyway, that's all for now. Um, we're gonna be posting another video of it on uh, the same claim, a couple other showings, and uh, that'll be in a couple days. So if you like what we're doing, subscribe, and uh, be sure to leave us a comment, and we'll keep on prospecting and posting the videos for you.